Lightning McQueen plush. I am literally a 10 year old boy. If you couldn't already tell by how I look right now, I had absolutely no intention on filming a video today. But anyway, hey what's up you guys, it's Amanda, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing something that is going to be very very time consuming so I'll buckle up. Today I have decided out of pure boredom to gather up everything I've bought from Walt Disney World or any Disney related shops. I did my best to try to gather up all of my belongings, which uh, took a while in itself and I'm kind of mad at myself because now I have to go put everything back after this video is done. Um, and I'm not looking forward to that at all. I see a lot of people asking if you will actually come out like making money on the DCP. The answer is no, and I'm about to show you guys why. <laughs> Before you judge me with all my purchases, to be fair, I did do the fall program, which we did get a uh, hefty 40% holiday discount. So I did wait to buy more of the pricier items during the months. I think it's like from October to middle of February. I did also get some of these things as gifts and some shops did send me some stuff along the way but I just am going to do an overview on everything that I have that has been given to me or bought by me in the past year. So I guess we can start with the uh, the things that I'm wearing right now. So I did get this from the Emporium I think but it sold, it was sold, I don't think they sell anymore but it was sold all park wide everywhere, everyone, literally everyone had it. But this, this right here, everybody asked me where I get this necklace and it's from Uptown Jewelers I think it's called and it's right on Main Street um it's a pretty expensive jewelry shop I also saw all the lounge flies there and I did wait to get my 40% off before I got this because it's kind of pricey but it's really really cute I wear it literally every day I never take it off I'm obsessed it's replaced every single necklace I've ever owned in my entire life okay we're gonna stick with the expensive things from Main Street theme right now as I show you guys one of my favorite things I purchased on the program this cute little Beauty and the Beast glass rose and it's from like I don't know if it has a name but the glass store on Main Street it's like right across the way of Uptown Jewelers but I am seriously so obsessed with this I got this around Christmas time as well so I use my 40% off if you guys are coming for the fall program and you're watching this wait till you get all the expensive things during the holiday discount another overly priced thing that I probably didn't need is this oh, is this phone case right here super cute Literally everybody and their mother on this program has this, literally everybody. But unfortunately, I recently just got the new phone. I'm so sad that I can't use this anymore. I was going to get this again um, for my XR, but I don't work there right now and it is pricey. So I will wait, I guess, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I know they're coming out with a lot of new cases right now that are beautiful, a lot of new castle cases have recently come out. So I'm gonna go check those out, look around, see, but I can, spend more money on <laughs> I'm just sitting here right now looking at my magic band collection just thinking about all the magic bands that I have went through during my program that I've lost I've lost so many of them mostly like they were all from resorts so I would get like the free ones with like when you stay at a resort so all like the basic colored ones right okay so I have all of those y'all know what they look like you don't need to see them um, on my program, I did buy the millennial pink one. I lost it in the park, but like the light blue one kind of looked like the color of my nails right now, like a little, a little like less vibrant, but I bought that one. Don't know where it went. It's okay. We lost that. So naturally, what did I do? Bought another one. My favorite one yet, right here, Mr. Flynn Rider. I cannot believe I made this. I cannot believe I, you should have seen my reaction when I found this in the parks. Like I was shook to the core. I think the only magic band I could like ever possibly replace this is if they came out like with one of just strictly Buzz. I know there's a Toy Story one with like Buzz, Woody, Jesse, the whole gang, but like if a Buzz one ever comes out, just strictly that guy, I'm buying. As you guys will see, half of my merch collection is just strictly Buzz Lightyear. Before I show you guys all my Buzz Lightyear stuff, I just want to say it is so hard being a female Buzz Lightyear fan, okay? Because they don't make that much stuff that 23 year old girls like me can wear they're all like little boys attire anyway after many months many 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 months of complaining about how they don't have female buzz lightyear merch they are pulling through lately um i have to give anna a shout out for this one because for christmas she got me the buzz lightyear Al alex and annie let's see if it focuses or stops moving my wrists are so so small and i unfortunately do not wear these as often as i wish 
I could because they literally just go all the way down my arm. It, it's a problem. But I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so grateful that she found this for me. Um, I didn't know this existed until literally I was surprised on Christmas, so thank you. Okay, moving on. This is the first Buzz Lightyear thing that I purchased on this program. Um, I found this at Cast Connections literally like first couple weeks of the program and it quickly became my work bag because it was just so fitting that I worked in Tomorrowland and got to rip my little Buzz Lightyear bag every single day. So it's a pretty big bag. I got, it had to fit my Speedway boots in here, so um, yeah, I needed a really big one. Just your typical little boy's backpack that a 23 year old girl like me wanted for some reason. I think it's super cute though. I still bring it everywhere and then when I start back in June, you know it's gonna be my work bag again because why not? Out of all the dumb purchases I've made, this is probably like rock bottom. And I know mom, if you're watching this right now, you're gonna yell at me for this one because this is so pointless. But I just wanna let you know that this guy right here, I know he's a bubble blower and I don't need it, okay? I know I don't need it, but I just wanna let you guys know that he does sit on my shelf right under my TV and he's he's just nice to look at, you know? It's, it's great decor. He doesn't need to be a bubble blower, although he's not on, please hold. <laughs> I think I ran out of bubbles. <laughs> I forgot to buy more bubbles, mom. Shut your ears. Oh, now he's going. Oh God, there's bubbles everywhere. Ryan, there's Where's bubbles the everywhere. Nancy is always listening. I heard <laughs> that. She heard you. She's not gonna plug your ears. She's gonna come for you. Ryan's still ill if you guys get a tell. Hi guys, <laughs> writing a paper, wish I was here. I know, he's doing homework right now. But I mean like his collection basically is like Olaf, Beauty and the Beast, Hell. everything. Some, is that it? Some gay Disney merch. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the gay boy Disney merch. Like <laughs> anything you could think of, he has it. Trust me. Especially Belle, if he's Frozen, related. That's it. Nothing that's in your folks. That's it. Love that for you. Thanks for popping in. Of course. Have fun writing your paper. Uh, I'll won't. be showing everybody how I lost every single dime <laughs> I made on my program. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was going to do my ear collection all at once, but since we're on like the Buzz Lightyear theme right now, I do of course have these bad boys. Y'all should have seen my reaction when I saw these hit the store, okay? I basically dropped everything I was doing and I ran and I went and I looked everywhere, okay? Everywhere. But like, they were announced before I guess cast members knew about it. So I was walking into every store and every park. It's like, do you have the Buzz Lightyear ears? And they're like, no, they don't exist. I'm just like, yes, they do. And I would pull up the article and be like, look, where can I find these? And no one knew for a long, long time. Any like Toy Story merch that comes out, it's gonna be in Hollywood Studios. Um, I literally looked everywhere for that new Buzz Lightyear lounge fly bag and I, Finally found it in Hollywood Studios. Oh my god. Yeah, I bought it. Hold on. I was gonna save the best for last because this is my most recent purchase and my favorite purchase ever. And well, I guess here it is. Like, if this isn't me, I don't know what is. Like, I cannot believe they made the cutest little lounge flight of Buzz. Finally, they're giving me the girl merch I've always wanted. Look how cool it looks on the outside. Great, right? Awesome. Okay, but just wait. Look at the inside pattern on the bag. I had no idea this was a thing until I got it yesterday and I was just like, oh my god, it's the alien. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me so happy. All the people that messaged me and said, this reminded me of you, go get it. Like this has you written all over it. I appreciate you guys for um, just like paying attention to my life. Like, thank you. I forgot that I had this one too because obviously I care so much about my Buzz Lightyear lounge fly now that this one has been um, left in the dust. Um, <laughs> I will probably never use it ever again because I'm so obsessed with the Buzz one. But yeah, um, rose gold bag, I got it during the holiday discount. So thank God because these things are so expensive. But that reminds me as well that inside my bag, I do also have a few more ads that I have purchased along my program. I actually, here's tea. I actually only bought one and then like the machines are just so messed up sometimes that they just like gave me two extra randomly. So I'm just like, okay, love that for me. But like, this is a must. If you're gonna do a Disney college program, like buy one of these. Literally, they give you the charging stuff to take home so you can use it as a portable charger even when you're not in the park. So, like, highly recommend. Also, we stand Toy Story as a whole. So, of course, 
when I saw this, I was like, oh, I need it. And luckily a cast member was nice enough to make some magic for me and give me this. And I was, it was just so weird because the day before I was just like, dude, I need this. Like, I don't know what I would even do with it, but I need it. And I had self-control that day, which was surprising for me. And I put it down and I said, no, you don't. But then the next day, literally, I was just given this and I was like, what? Okay, I need to have a conversation about this guy right here, all right? So we all know when Toy Story Land first opened, they had the regular alien popcorn bucket come out and it sold out in the blink of an eye, right? Okay, and they didn't restock them at all. So I was just like, okay. But then the Christmas version came out here he is his name is meep anyway the christmas version came out and i was like okay i must buy it immediately it's gonna sell out they're not gonna restock this is my only chance to ever get the alien popcorn bucket um so here I, yeah i bought it obviously 25 dollars for the popcorn bucket my sweet son he's expensive bougie and i was like yeah I, i'm gonna have to get this one because i guess the other one's never coming back right wrong recently i've seen them sold in the parks again just the regular version so i'm a little mad i had the christmas one because I can't necessarily, I mean, I guess I could. If people would just literally look at me like I was that insane if I brought this in the parks, like the Christmas version. So I'm mad a little bit, but it'd be like that sometimes. To be fair, that was the only popcorn bucket that I have purchased on this program. Um, my roommate, Julia, if you're watching this, listen, she, this girl, every single time there was a new popcorn bucket out, she would just come home with it. I'm just like, how are you paying our rent right now? You're literally spending all of your money on the popcorn buckets. Every holiday, every single occasion that ever hit Disney World, she has a popcorn bucket for it. And they just like kind of made a nice little collection in our kitchen. It was beautiful, honestly. Um, I do regret not buying the Oogie Boogie one because that one was iconic. But I'm assuming, I don't see why they wouldn't come back this Halloween season maybe. So we'll probably get that because I need a spooky season popcorn bucket since I had the Christmas one. Nothing but respect for my favorite holiday, Halloween. Thank you. If y'all think anything I bought was unnecessary so far, oh, you don't even know what's coming for you, okay? I'm just kidding, guys. We got this for free when we checked into our Disney College program. They handed out lightsabers. And um, I must say, I am not a Star Wars stan. I am the fakest fan I know. Oh, actually, give me one second. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this picture before where I was wearing this shirt. Um, hold on. Okay, this shirt right here. Um, I know really nothing about Star Wars. Sorry, I really know nothing about Star Wars at all. Um, but this shirt was just funny to me. This shirt doesn't like screen like I have knowledge of Star Wars it's kind of just like oh I thought this was funny and I have a good sense of humor right I probably should have showed this one when I was showing my other Beauty and the Beast things that I have or thing it was just the rose so far but I did buy this cup it's filled with some of my crap that I don't even know is oh god I turned my lights off <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I swear I don't do this stuff on purpose it's literally my life is just a mess but yeah there's just a bunch of junk in here some coins my light remote, apparently. We'll talk about this right now since it's just sitting on the top of my little jewelry box right here. I do have, this is the only Lillian and Co. bracelet that I own. Um, like I was saying about the Alex and, Alex and Annie. Is it Alex and Annie or Alex and Annie? I've heard it both ways. I don't know. But anyway, this bracelet is the only one I own by them um, because my wrists are too small. It is from Tangled. It says, go live your dream. You probably can't even read that with the lights right now, but that's fine. Um, I mean, it doesn't fit my wrists, but it makes a great decoration on my vanity sitting on top of my little rose gold candle. So yeah. I also have this cute little Aurora cup. It's different on each side. It's super cute. It just holds random junk on my little cart over there. I'm just like, it's got nail clippers in it, tweezers. <laughs> the necessities. I don't really do much with it, it just kind of sits there and collects the dust. But uh, that's Disney merch for you. Then real quick, we'll talk hat so I can put these back in my closet. Um, I got this before my program from Forever 21. They do have a, like a really cute line of like vintage looking Disney stuff. Um, so and it's cheap because it's, it's Forever 21, like best store ever. Um, you guys ask where I get my clothes all the time and Forever 21 is 
like my number one top store, like my go-to, I get literally everything there. So I don't really know if they have this line going on anymore because I got this in the summer. But yeah, I did get this from here and my sister got me this one as well. From Forever 21, maybe? No, no, this was from the Disney store in a mall. So I bought this hat, but it was like something I wanted for a long, long time, which is the Monsters University hat. If you didn't tell already, I'm a big Tomorrowland gal, so I buy literally everything Tomorrowland-ish themed. Um, I do really like this hat a lot. Also, I do wish they had like a cuter Uzma Kappa shirt, because that shirt hat, a hat, we're talking hat because I would totally have bought that instead, but it's like slime green and that's probably not my color. Um, but blue is, so love that for me. And then the last one, if you guys have been watching since the beginning of my CP, you've seen this before, I got these hats for my roommates, for roommate gifts. Everyone got their favorite color, little Mickey hat on here. And uh, yeah, so they're on Etsy somewhere. I'm sure if you just Google like Mickey logo hats, baseball hats I don't know they'll come up um I'll see if I can link it from like a, my previous orders I don't know we'll see okay so you guys are all gonna come for me for this one but I'm gonna show you guys my stuffed animal collection which I really 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 didn't need I do have a twin bed in my apartment um and there's usually two people sleeping in my twin bed unfortunately so all of my stuffed animals uh do reside on the floor under my bed I'm like I feel really bad about it like I, I literally sit up at night just thinking like wow look at all the money I wasted on them but they're cute and I love them I think he was the first little guy I bought um I bought him there's a hair on it here's the thing with him though like at Cast Connections there was like the giant stitches like the really 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 big one for like a really 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 low price so I was like oh my god I really want the big guy but I stuck with him he was my original like stuffed animal for like the program okay this guy though i must say this guy actually gets great use he's always on my bed um we snuggle every night it's one of the it's the eeyore pillow pet um i got him right after i saw christopher robin and loved him so much he was a star of the movie let me add um so i just i love eeyore we're both sad little creatures so <laughs> um i have an emotional connection to him i guess but i did get him before the holiday discount started because i got him right when the program started but i think he's worth it he's literally i snuggle with him every day so worth it to me moving on we have doug and doug does not have his cone on because doug is a good boy i also don't know where the cone is i lost it i guess probably when i was moving but he doesn't need it because like when you snuggle him you don't want the cone poking at you it's like hard and not no it's just it's just no for me i have absolutely no idea why i love him so much but i just do so i needed him that's all next up we have none other than um, my healthcare companion i adore baymax so much i think he's one of the cutest disney characters of all time um i would consider him to be in my top five favorite characters even um yay as i'm sitting here going through my collection i'm quickly realizing that i I, I know I've said this before, but like, I am literally a 10 year old boy. Like, okay, here's what's up next. Um, Lightning McQueen plush. I don't have that much princess stuff. I <laughs> I feel like I like all the characters that like little boys are supposed to like. So that's how life is going, I guess. I just really have a connection with cars for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's so underrated. One of the best Disney movie series, I guess. Was it a series? Yeah, there's a couple movies of all time. Um, don't even get me started on how happy I am about the new attraction. I brought him to, um, opening day, and yes, I am pathetic, but <laughs> I don't know why I needed to possess these, but here we are. I did start liking cars, like, even more once I started working at Speedway, because, like, like, this is our guy right here. Like, this is the OG, the king. Literally, the first thing I'm doing when I go to Disneyland is going right to Radiator Springs because, holy crap, I cannot believe that there is a Cars ride. Like, I'm so excited. Yes, I know someone's gonna attack me and be like, listen, you don't ride rides, you won't like it, but I will risk my life to ride that super little car ride, okay? My stuffed animal collection would not be complete without the man himself, Mr. Mickey Mouse. Um, once again, I am very proud of myself for having self-control with this purchase. Um, there are much bigger plushies, but I just think the little ones are so cute. He just kind of like sits on the top of my bed. 
um, when, when it's actually made, which is never. But he kind of just sits there, and he's just so cute, and I love him. Um, and yeah, so there's the end of my pathetic stuffed animal collection. Please don't come for me. Disney's motto is never grow up, so I'm not going to. Thank you. Okay, this is going to be a real quick one because I'm very embarrassed. Don't judge me. Um, yes, I have two bubble blowers even because um, also I, I stand Little Mermaid. You guys know that Tangled and Little Mermaid are my two favorite actual like girly princess Disney movies, but they're also like my two favorite Disney movies of all time. This has been sitting in my little drawer over there for quite some time and sat there throughout my entire program too. I bought this for the Instagram photo back in like summertime and uh, it hasn't seen the light of day since. So um, yes, getting back to the theme of Tangled real quick. Um, Julia, I think it was Julia, got me this cute little mug. I think it was for Christmas. I don't remember because okay, my birthday and Christmas are like a week and a half apart. So like, I don't remember what I got for wit. This is one of the cutest little mugs I ever seen ever at Disney. I, I literally have not ever even seen this on the shelves. It kind of just like appeared on Christmas. I was like, Julia, they just know me so well. This sits on a shelf with Mr. Buzz Lightyear himself, the bubble blower. Just these two things because those are my two favorite movies, I guess, character wise, you know? So um, yeah, I don't drink out of it. It just sits there and collects dust, but at least I get to look at it and be like, <laughs> cute. What is, oh, oh. Are we surprised that there's Buzz Lightyear stickers just sitting inside of here? I literally I hate myself. This next purchase I made is just like four cast members basically. They're from Disney University. They're like the cast member lanyards where you put your blue ID to scan into work. And then on the other side, there's like a, it's like a dual thing right here. On the other side, I kept my housing ID when I lived in Patterson. So every time I went to work, I had to bring this with me to get into work and then to get back into my apartment after. I got Stitch, of course, because I am a Tomorrowland gal. All Tomorrowland, everything, always. Like, I'm, I'm really not kidding. Like, my obsession with it is unreal. Um, I also needed this. I was so happy this was a shirt because literally, mom, if you're watching once again, you know back in the day, um, every time you asked me to do something when I lived in your home, it was, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, I just procrastinated everything always and that's like still my life motto. So yes, this was just so fitting all around. Um, amazing. All right, I was about to start my ear collection and I realized that I did leave a pair of my ears in the car and I'm like way too lazy to go out and get it right now. So um, my millennial pink ears have been left in the car. So I do have those. Um, but okay, first off, I wanna talk about these. The new ones are cute, but like, I don't like change. Like these aren't just gonna disappear forever. This is like, I can sell this for like a million dollars on eBay right now. Anyway, here's the rest of my ear collection. So I do have the Disneyland Paris ears, the purple ears, silver. I don't know what to call these, but they have a pretty like shiny blue bow. Of course, I have my birthday ears, <laughs> worn one time ever. Great purchase, Amanda. I have my Animal Kingdom zebra ears that I never, ever, 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 ever wear because I don't really go to DAC and when I do, it's too hot and I'm miserable and I don't want to put ears on my head to make my headache worse. I have these Christmas ones and these Christmas ones. Honestly, I feel like I have more than just that. I can't think of the ones I'm missing off the top of my head right now, but like, I don't know. Like I said, I do have the Millennial Pink as well and then the Buzz Lightyear ones that I showed you guys before and that should be it. I feel like it's not. I feel like there's more, but I really can't think of what I'm missing off the top of my head right now. I have bad news. I once again have a really sad balloon. Um, here he is. He's been sitting in the closet because he's kind of getting ugly. Our fans are always cranking, so I don't keep him in my room anymore because he flies all around and hits the walls and I don't know when this balloon became a heat. Like I said in previous videos, this was a one-time purchase for me because cast members are nice enough to let you guys trade out your balloon when your balloon is sad. So one day when I'm ever really feeling frisky, I'm gonna take this guy back into the park and be like, listen, he's sad, We're gonna, we need a new friend. Luckily, there were a few items that Disney internships and programs gave to us for free, even though we paid for them with like our fees and the other stuff that we pay for. But anyway, so we did get a few things from them. Um, this being one of them when we left our program, it's like a little, I, I don't know what they call them. There was a specific word for them. 
anyway, it's cute. Um, I guess the point of it is to like place your sacred DCP memory items in here. Along with that, they did give us ears when we did traditions um, and then ears when we graduated from the program. I decided to just show one of the pair of ears since they're basically the same thing. This one just obviously is from graduation because it's got the little tassel on it. But um, they're like the same thing. So And they also gave us this little Mickey shaped pen. Um, it exploded all over me when I got it. So no bueno there. But I mean, good intentions. Disney internships says on the little pen. Um, but that's my luck. So of course. I had two autograph books, one was for characters, and then I bought the same, so this, I bought this book twice. Um, one was for that, and the other one I gave to my co-workers to all sign um, at the end of my program. Everyone wrote decently nice messages to me, about me, so that's really nice of them. If I open this book right now and start reading things, I will cry because I miss them so much. I miss my program so much. Uh, that's why I'm so excited to start a new one. I hope I'm lucky enough to get another great group of coworkers because literally I don't think any anyone can beat the Speedway cast members. Like they were amazing and I miss them so much. So this is like my prized possession from the program. Just like the little, little notes, I just miss them, okay? <laughs> okay, so this glass right here, it's a nice little wine glass. Um, I got it for Christmas, my birthday, one of those. Anyway. It says, Tears of Unfortunate Souls. And <laughs> if that is not me, I don't know what is. I love this glass so much, I don't actually use it because I love it so much. It just sits on my um, bedside table over, that's Anna's, my bedside table over there um, and just collects random things. But I just, I laugh literally every time I look at it. I was like, that's so me. So I just have it sitting here. For decoration actually now that i just showed you guys my table over there i realized that i'm missing something for my haul um so i did buy this little cute frame laughter is timeless imagination has no age and dreams are forever this picture in there is from my birthday with all my closest buddies um i thought it was the most fitting photo for this because literally it was the best day ever and then I have Kyle Sutton in the corner now too because he's cute so I had to put him on there too don't mind him okay so lastly what I'm gonna do is go over there that's my little pin board and show you guys my pins because there was no way I was taking that board off the wall for the video so here we go okay all right please don't mind my messy room I didn't make my bed for the occasion but okay here's my pin board um most of these I did buy Either um, single ones, like that one, that one, um, that one, that one, I needed this, yeah, okay. And the Grumpy, of course, Buzz, all those I bought separately. Um, some came in packs, like the Magic Kingdom one. Most of these I either traded for or just bought singly. Um, the Tangled ones also did come in packages too, so we love that. Um, also here are some pictures from the housing events from the program, so amazing. And then there's my little name tag, Baymax pin, a bunch of random things we celebrated here. Um, so yeah, and then of course, an official Speedway license. And then next to my pin board, I did buy this little cute painting of Flint and Rapunzel. I adore it so much. Here's one thing though, I did mess up with my command strips here, so uh, typical Amanda move, but it's super cute, I'm, I adore it. And yeah, that is like basically it for what I've purchased on my DCP. <laughs> like I said, there's probably some other stuff lying around that I forgot, but it's like basically everything. If you guys enjoyed today's mess of a haul, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Turn the bell on because the people are saying that these days and I'm just like, I didn't even know that the notification thing was a thing until like couple weeks ago but that's fine turn that bell on hit that bell that's all i got for today so um uh, we will see you guys in the next video which will not be at disney world i don't know what i'm gonna do but we'll figure it out